Dengue causes a high fever and such severe pain that people who have it feel that their bones are breaking. It can take months to recover, may require hospitalization, and it kills 22,000 people each year, mostly children, according to the World Health Organization. The WHO says the virus, which is caused by a mosquito, is now 30 times more prevalent than it was 50 years ago. It's common in many regions of Asia, the Pacific, the Americas, and Africa. There are no particular drugs to fight dengue, but now there's hope. A promising vaccine could be a game changer after a two-year trial in five Asian countries. Dr. Maria Rosario Capetti is one of the researchers. She says the vaccine prevented about half the number of dengue cases and greatly reduced the number of severe cases that cause hemorrhaging. The vaccine efficacy against dengue hemorrhagic fever, according to the WHO criteria, after three vaccine doses was 88.5 percent. Another large-scale study is taking place in Latin America. The vaccine could be available by 2015. There soon may be other ways to contain the virus. At the Johns Hopkins Malaria Research Institute, Professor George Demopoulos has discovered a way to block the dengue virus in lab mosquitoes. The next step, he says, is to do the same in wild mosquitoes. Dengue as malaria uh, are diseases that will only be controlled through the use of multiple approaches. It's like a war. You cannot win a war with only one weapon. You need multiple types of weapons and strategies to win a war, and the same applies for these diseases. Other approaches include spraying to kill mosquitoes, teaching people how to eliminate mosquito breeding sites like water cisterns or water left in containers near their homes. Warmer climates and urbanization are increasing the spread of the mosquito that carries the virus. Dr. Luis Castellanos is with the Pan American Health Organization, or PAHO. He says his agency has helped reduce the number of deaths from dengue in the Americas. PAHO has been extensively working with the countries over the last three, four years to train thousands of physicians throughout the countries to properly be ready to suspect, identify, diagnose, and early treat any dengue case. The World Health Organization estimates that 40 percent of the world's population is at risk for developing dengue. By this time next year, there may be a way to fight it. Carol Pearson, VOA News.